Hi guys, I'm Phoebe, I'm the content producer at the National Youth Film Academy and I'm here at the 72nd Edinburgh International Film Festival, which is the longest running film festival in Europe. Today I'm in tune Vaughan Stein and asking him about his new film Terminal, which is debuting, which he wrote and directed. It stars Margot Robbie, Simon Pegg and Mike Myers. He's also worked on the set of Dark Knight, Danish Girl and World War Z. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Okay, what do you want? You want money? Say whatever you want. Oh, that is a very poor choice of words. I went to Bristol University. I was reading drama and I sort of fell in love with film uh, when I was about 16, 17. I had a teacher at school who taught a module in general studies called From Hitchcock to Spielberg. And uh, when I was at university, I really wanted to, I wanted to get my hands dirty. I wanted to try and get some work on, on set. So I applied for work experience on Stardust, the Matthew Vaughan film. And I ended up working for the VFX department as a runner for about 10 weeks after that and just ran myself stupid all over Pinewood. No idea what I was doing, just having the time of my life, getting paid about 50 quid a day to do like 18 hour days, just loving it. It's brilliant. Just handed my dissertation in and someone I met on Stardust uh, I was working on a film called Rory's First Kiss in London. That was the working title of it. And she was like, you've got to come down. You really need to come and, come and do this. Uh, I can't really tell you what it is, but it's not Rory's First Kiss. And that was the working title of um, The Dark Knight. So as soon as you were, yeah, walk on set and see Heath Ledger dressed as the Joker. And I just, that was it. I was done. <laughs> That's all I, all I wanted to do. So yeah, I kind of worked my way out from there. I, I sort of, you know, I, I, you know, I got lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. And yeah, I think that kind of stood me in good stead. I knew, I always knew I wanted to to write and direct, but I really wanted to earn my stripes first. So I, yeah, I was, I was, a, I started off as a crowd runner, uh, working for an amazing guy called Bryn Lawrence, who took me under his wing and looked after me. <laughs> I had a clue what I was doing, and then became a floor runner and and sort of worked my way up and worked at all different levels of um, of film, from you know, you know, kind of tiny, tiny micro budget shorts to Beauty and the Beast and Harry Potter and and Bond. It was yeah, amazing, amazing experience. <laughs> I'd always written. I wrote from. Uh, I wrote when I was at school. Uh, I wrote when I was at uni. Uh, I wrote all the way through being a runner. And I just, just ideas and playing with characters, playing with with concepts, things that you know. Some of the you know the earliest building blocks of Terminal. And I, I, I loved ideaing, and I, I, I'm so grateful for it. But for me, it was always a, a kind of a means to an end. I always knew that I wanted to at least try to work on the creative side. <laughs> That's a really good question. It was a mixture of both. I, the the world kind of the, the world was so important to me. That was really that was a real genesis point for me. I wanted to create this sort of you know dank, dark, anonymous city, reminiscent but not recognisable as London or, or you know somewhere. I knew from really early on I wanted to set it round this female protagonist, this this elusive, mercurial, uh, you know, strong, dynamic woman who's all things to all men who can utilise her charms and to sort of, you know, to, to, to trap these, these men around her and, 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 you know, and have them fall under her spell. Yeah, it's, so the, the first character, the, 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 the principal character she sprung from was Annie the Waitress. But I knew I just wanted that to be one facet to her character, one strand to this, you know, to this kind of very complex, very schizophrenic woman. One of the things that with, you know, actors love to act and they love to be challenged and they love to do interesting things and you don't ask, you don't get. Swing for the fences, I would say, <laughs> you, you know, you never know and, yeah. be, you know, actors respond to, to things. Yeah. We set out to do something that, that we hoped was different and people have really hated it or really liked it and that's, that's kind of okay, you know, you know if, you, if you believe in your story, if you believe in your characters, like, that's, that's kind of all you, can, all you can do. It was like a real passion of mine. I wrote what I would consider like the real first draft of that, 2013, and then we took it, so then we worked on it for about another year. Yeah, we then took it to actors and financing in, yeah, like 2015, and then, yeah, took it to EFM to announce it early 2016. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, for me, it, it's about the discipline of sitting down in front of the computer with a cup of coffee, and I use white noise for something that really works for me, like like a, like a baby to put babies to sleep. So I put that on, and and I I write and. Just you've got to write. That's 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 the thing for me. That's what that's what I learned through this. You just you have to sit down and do it. Otherwise, it's it's not going to do it itself. If you if you can provide that that sort of baseboard for them to you know to make the characters their own, like you know I loved collaborating with Simon and Margot and Mike and Dexter and Max and you know what Dexter in particular because he's got such an amazing ear for dialogue and he really made Vince his own. I mean. You know, he he improvised a huge amount of his lines, but it was very collaborative. You know, he would he would we would work at it in you know when it was up on its feet on set, and we would see what worked and see where his humour could could work. The technology is there, like you know, shoot, make your mistakes on you know, and and learn your craft. Like, yeah, I would yeah shoot and get on set and sit down and write because otherwise it's never going to happen.